Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a quick screencast type tutorial for you showing how to create a uh, metal guitar track using Evolution Electric Guitar. Um, so right now as you can see uh, I've already written the drum track and that's using Addictive Drums which uh, by the way if you want any presets for that I've made dozens so just send me an email or whatever and I'll send them to you. Um, and then I have Evolution Electric Guitar and that's going through uh, Revalver, and that's just the special edition that comes with uh, Sonar 7 Producer Edition. Um, so right now I've just started out with a blank preset, and the only thing that I've changed is pretty much uh, just setting it to the palm mute articulation instead of the standard soft sustain that it would start out on. Okay, so here's what the drum track that I just wrote sounds like. So now that I have that, it's kind of a scratch drum track, and I'll start writing the rhythm guitar line, which, by the way, I have no idea what I'm going to write, so um, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah, the um, other thing that I did was to detune the guitar to uh, a low B right here. Um, we've got tuning presets, but it's pretty easy to just drop the E down a fifth. Or rather, not a fifth, but five semitones, which is a perfect fourth. So these two notes are overlapping, so that's going to be a hammer-on, which is a legato articulation. Okay, so if this starts sounding like uh, something you'd hear in from uh, Doom or Duke Nukem or something, uh, apologies in advance. <laughs> um, hopefully I won't end up having to pay anybody royalties. We'll see. And I'm going to make the uh, rhythm guitar match those two uh, hits right there that happened on the upbeats, uh, 16th note wise. That. And I'll just make them sustain a little bit over like that. Okay, those fret noises right there, uh, that's caused by the guitarist switching positions on the guitar neck. Um, you can turn those off if you want by just putting the volume down to zero. I'm going to add a layer and make it so the higher velocity notes will be played with a half palm mute articulation. The rest will be played with the normal palm mute. So go into mapping, layers, add a velocity condition, make it anything, say, uh, over 100. And then we go to half palm mute and we turn that on. And then we'll change the release sample to, to a normal release sample. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to have to decrease the volume of those in order to uh, have them played as the uh, palm mute. And then I'll just get those accents and, and make them louder. I wonder if I've got this double tracked. Let's check. So we go into tone. Let's hear what it sounds like double tracked. That's more like it. All right, let's duplicate the uh, drums right here. And I'm going to add a little drum fill. So this is a good opportunity for you to watch uh, me do some drum sequencing. All right, I'm going to make room for the fill.
flam. Okay, so um, that's a pretty good start, and I'm just going to add a, uh, a little uh, pick scrape at the beginning as a uh, kind of a pickup effect. So I'll show you a cool little trick uh, for sequencing um, if you don't want to use key switches or controllers or anything. Uh, so I go to velocity, and I make it so when you play something with a velocity of 1, it's going to play an effect. So we set that to effects and turn off the velocity curve so that there's no velocity to uh, to volume effect and then all you've got to do is go in here and create a note with a velocity of one and then you get the uh, effects articulation <laughs> Another cool thing that you'll find in the effects are a bunch of chugs. So um, let's see if we can incorporate those in, into this track. So velocity of one, and let's go find those chugs. There we go. Take a few of those random notes and make those chugs also. And the cool thing to do um, these days is to add a little squeal in here and there at the end of phrases. So I'm going to create a new layer as a squeal. And uh, let's see, what kind of condition should we make? We could do a controller, a key switch. Hmm. How about we just do a velocity layer? So 127. <laughs> And we'll just make that note a squeal. Let's hear what that sounds like. Uh, we definitely need more squeals. <laughs> Let's see. Now the problem is all these notes have uh, the velocity of 127, so we're going to have to decrease those a little bit so that way they're not also accidental squeals. Try uh, putting a little vibrato on that. Yeah, let's see what else.
take this squeal and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try another effect. I'm not sure what this is gonna sound like, but with all that distortion, I mean, it's gotta sound cool. So, so you play two notes, a uh, whole step apart, and then you bend upwards. So let me see what I've got the pitch bend settings to right now. So we go into performance, go to the default layer, pitch bend, three semitone range, let's just put that back down to two, and right now it'll affect only the lowest note played, which is perfect. And all, I, all we've got to do is just bend that lower note upward. Turn off snap. Let's make it a little slower so it's more noticeable. cool uh, effect for lead guitar. Uh, I'm not sure if that fits this rhythm guitar part, especially with that um, much range contrast, so we'll put it back down an octave. And then pretty much, uh, we could pretty much just loop this track and then, uh, you know, put whatever we want in there. We definitely need some bass, uh, lead guitar over that, but for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, this is pretty much how I would start out writing a rhythm guitar for you know, not this is not really speed metal. Um, it's not really slow metal either. Um, kind of something in between. Great for an action game. Anyway, uh, let's just try one one last thing before I sign off, and I'm gonna try boosting the tempo a little bit to see uh, how far we can take it. Anyway, so that's how it's done, and I'll hopefully be making more of these uh, sorts of uh, video tutorials for you. Hopefully that'll help you out um, with uh, using the product and creating guitar tracks and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'll see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed this.